Well, hello again, and thank you for joining us, at Liberton Kirk, as we have these morning reflections during Thy Kingdom Come. I'm joined by Gabrielle, who's also a member of our prayer ministry team. And uh, unfortunately, I probably gave her a tricky topic that for a couple of weeks she's been thinking over, and it's that word offer. And it might not spring to mind too easily when you think about witnessing for Jesus, but it's the sense of that once you're in God's kingdom, you want to offer what you are, who you are to him. But I'm going to ask Gabrielle just to share now where she's gone in her thinking and what she wants to say to us. Thank you. Well, uh, when I got the word, the first thing that came to mind was a particular Bible verse, uh, Colossians 3, verse 23, which I have here, um, and verse 24 as well. So it's, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for men, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. And I think that knowing that you're serving God first and foremost is an encouragement to do your best in all things, uh, whether or not you get recognition for it. And as we focus on serving God in our work, we also serve others. And although we're imperfect, and obviously when you're in a work situation, people see you all day long, so it's impossible to remain perfect in front of them. Mm -hmm. uh, you hope that they see that you're, um, although you're flawed, you're still um, a person of integrity. So I hope that you know we, we would be salt and light and reflecting God's love to our colleagues. I think um, witness is very important at work and it's where you spend so much of your time. Um, I also thought of the chorus, I will offer up my life. Um, just thinking about the fact that we offer ourselves to God as an imperfect sacrifice and we recognize our brokenness and we give our gratitude back to God for the fact that he paid the price for our sins uh, through Jesus. And I also thought about the fact that God gives us um, various gifts and talents uh, and we offer them back to him in his service. And he often leads us in, in places where we can use those talents to serve him. And I think that uh, whatever we do, and it's not just work, obviously, it's in other situations where God leads you. Um, we offer ourselves as Jesus hands and feet on earth, wherever God has placed us or called us. Mm. It's so true, isn't it, in a sense that because of what God did for us in Christ, you know, what we then do for him is nothing in one sense in comparison. That, Of course, by offering our whole selves, you know, it's the least we can do. But you're right also in saying that we don't get the recognition. You know, it's not as if God is always there patting us on the back and saying, um, well done. Uh, do, do you find that a struggle sometimes maybe in work situations to always live up um, to for god i think well i think i mean certainly it, it's it's worth remembering that you're serving god because there's many aspects of work which can be quite tedious or trying and uh, your colleagues may not be particularly interested so you're not you, you know you don't feel like you're being noticed or recognized particularly but in a sense that shouldn't really matter because it's god that you're serving and god sees everything and he knows what your heart is um, and I'm just looking back because I've been working for a long time now and uh, I can see that you know, God has led me in certain directions, not necessarily the directions that I thought I would be going in. And, and um, he has definitely used the skills that he gave me because I can see them from when I was very young and I was always very organized and he's led me in a kind of administrative direction and I do remember the excitement when I first saw that the gift of administration was in the bible because <laughs> I didn't I didn't expect to see that but um I think that knowing that you're using your god-given talents gives you satisfaction and I think that there there is a certain reward in having a reputation where people trust you recognize that you have integrity and that you try to treat people fairly, especially, you know, if you're in a management role. Mm. And obviously the people who work with you, they see your flaws, they see you all the time, they see you on your bad days and your good days. Um, mm. And I think that getting that kind of relationship with people that you work with 
often then leads to opportunities to witness and they can be they can be few and far between sometimes and they mm. can be sprung upon you at times when you're not expecting it but uh, I think one of the rewards actually is sometimes getting the opportunity to have a little bit of a conversation with someone and um, where you're able to just mention your faith or talk about it a wee bit mm. and sometimes people are interested in church matters and sometimes they're just interested in why you would believe something but mm. it's just um you, you I, I guess you don't always know what people are seeing but you just have to continue to try and keep your eyes focused on God and serve him and hopefully God will then bring the opportunities and, and you just have to notice them yeah it, um, it's just being ready for him and available yeah. to him isn't it it really is Bless you. Thank you. Um, we're going to pray in a moment, but could I ask you just to read those verses again from Colossians 3? Yep. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord and not for men, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Mm, thank you. Let me invite you to join with us as we pray together. And so, Lord, we've spent these moments thinking about how we can best serve you. We thank you for the example of Jesus. We're sorry that there are many times we are not like him, and yet we are amazed that you want us to serve you. And we ask, therefore, that you would bless Gabrielle in her work situation, in her life situation, in her friendships, Continue to use her and work through her, Lord, even if she doesn't see how and where. But we do pray that you would take each of us, all that we are, all that we have, all that we want to be. And we ask that you would work it all into your kingdom purposes, that even others might come to meet with Jesus because of the way we've served you. Take these moments, Lord. Take these words we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.